Hi, I'm John Henry, the changeover wizard at changeover.com. I'm here today at Frayne Industries, where they make things work. I want to talk to you about something so simple and stupid that you probably never even think about them, though you use them every day. And that's hand knobs and hand levers. My goal in reducing changeover times is always to eliminate tool usage, and there's a lot of reasons for that, which I'm not going to get into today. But any time that you have to use a tool, you should look for a way to eliminate the need for the tool. You should never use tools during routine changeover if it's any way possible to avoid it. About 99% of the time, there are ways to do it. Hand knobs and hand levers, two of the easiest ones. You see a bolt that needs a wrench, you see a screw needs a screwdriver, replace it with a hand knob or a hand lever. Now, I have a rule about when to use levers, when to use knobs. Can't always do it, there may be some exceptions, but you're able to do it about 90, 95% of the time. If you need to remove it all the way, use a knob. There's two reasons for this. One is ergonomics. The knob is simply easier to remove and especially easier to replace when you have to take it completely out. The second is memory. If you can standardize so that everybody knows that if it's round, remove it, then it helps them keep in mind what they're supposed to do during the changeover. Now, round knobs I, I use as a generic term for anything symmetrical. They can be star-shaped like this, uh, triangular, they can be various shapes. The key is that they're symmetric about a center. Now, hand levers, the commonest type is this uh, type, which actually lifts and, and ratchets. And these I use when it only needs to be loosened. Again, the mnemonics, lever, loosen, round knob, remove, and the ergonomics, of course. Now, these, not, these levers have a ratchet inside them, and they're available in plastic, they're available in brass, they're available in stainless steel. My recommendation is always spend the extra dollar or two and get them in stainless steel because if you get the plastic ones, if you're using them on a daily basis, they will wear, the ratchets will start slipping, and then nobody will replace it and you'll have a big nuisance. A couple of specialized uh, hand knobs. I like this one. These are, these are available from JW Winco, MSC, and other commercial sources. This one is counterboard at an angle so that it makes a quarter turn and lifts right off. Quarter turn, put it on, quarter turn, it tightens back up. Now these are great for something like a, uh, a lane guide where if it gets loose, it's not going to be a catastrophic failure. You wouldn't want this supporting uh, something that could really damage the meat. No. Cut, 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 cut. Doop, 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 doop. Now, a couple of specialized hand knobs and levers are this one available from Granger, JW Winco, MSC, and other supply houses. This is bored at an angle so that if you loosen it about a quarter turn, it lifts right off. You put it back on, slides all the way down, give it a quarter turn, it tightens up again. This is a push button. Push the button, pulls right off, Put it back together, push the button, 
it goes on, tighten it down to the bottom, give it a turn, and you're tight, you're ready to go. Now this knob, you may notice that the end of it, last quarter inch or so, the threads have been relieved. And I recommend doing this on all male uh, hand knobs. And the reason is, makes it a lot easier to get started. If you've got the typical thread, which just flattens at the end, you're going to be putting it in here and you're going to be wiggling it around. You're trying to get it to thread. You're trying to get the thread lined up. You may cross thread it. When you have it like this, just drop it in place, start turning, and the root diameter causes it to line up immediately. So that's it for hand knobs and hand levers today. Hope you learned a little bit. If you want to learn more, visit the Frayne website at www.fraynegroup.com. You'll find all types of new and used machinery for rental or for sale. If you want to know more about changeover, you want to know more about this video, get in touch with me at johnhenry at changeover.com. Thanks for watching.